For many of you, fitness is something that you are already engaged in, but you're sitting there wondering to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not making any constructive progress in my fitness journey? Well, today I'm going to give you five things that you are doing wrong in your fitness journey and how to fix each one of these five things. My name is Estian. I am a motivational speaker and I'm also a qualified personal trainer through TriFocus Fitness Academy. And if you are anywhere in the world and you want to lose weight or you want to build muscle, you can reach out to me on my email, which is linked down below. And welcome to Goals and Growth. This is your second home to become the best the version that you possibly can be so make sure that you subscribe and let's go okay mistake number one is neglecting your nutrition now guys in order to build muscle those of you who want to build muscle you need to consume 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight you can push that up to two but most people work 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight now remember when you are in the gym and you're busy lifting weights you are essentially tearing or causing micro tears in your muscle fibers and in order for the body to repair those muscle fibers it needs proteins amino acids same thing where do you get those proteins from obviously from eggs from fish from meat from various plant sources as well now most people neglect this part now you need to have a balanced diet right between proteins fats and carbohydrates and then you also need to pay attention to your micronutrients i'm leaving an example diet down below in the description just to give you an idea of what you can expect to eat when you're on this fitness journey as i said an adequate part of nutrition is also hydration right we need to be consuming at least three to four liters of water per day because water not only makes the muscle swell it also assists with the transportation of nutrients throughout the body remember you can consume the nutrients but if those nutrients cannot be transported throughout the body they're basically useless mistake number two is you lack training intensity now i am a big believer in intensity over volume intensity is everything when it comes to exercise now when we talk about something like bodybuilding the ideal is training 45 minutes to an hour Per session look at the former mr olympia dorian yates he used to train four times a week with about 45 minutes each session with maximum intensity and this is where people make the mistake maximum intensity right positive reps and negative reps all focused on pure focus when he's in the gym no distractions it is essential that you remain 100 percent focused while you are training and remember especially with something like building muscle you need to have that mind muscle connection you need to feel the muscle working that you intend to work otherwise what are you even doing in the gym guys if you don't know correct exercise form the best thing you can do is go to someone who has a little bit more experience than you in the gym or a qualified personal trainer like myself i will help you along the way and remember that you can reach out to me wherever in the world you are and we can start your fitness journey together all right the third fitness mistake that a, a lot of people make and that i've mentioned in point number one is neglecting hydration now as i said a general guideline is between two to three or even four liters of water per day now some people find it very hard to consume this amount of water i always tend to drink flavored water that helps a little bit but essentially the purpose of the water is not only to give you that energy during exercise but it's to push more blood into the muscles and also most importantly to transport nutrients throughout your body when you tear down your muscle fibers the body needs to distribute nutrients and proteins to those muscles in order to build them back up so therefore i always recommend men to my clients drink at least 500 mils of fluid before your exercise session i would say about half an hour before your exercise session this will ensure that you have enough water in your body to push blood to your muscles which will then give you a better pump and a better workout and post training is also very important when it comes to the consumption of water as i explained because of the transportation of nutrients so guys make sure you drink up the fourth fitness mistake is trying to take shortcuts now whether this is in terms of anabolic steroid usage something like anabolics has their place in sports it has their place in bodybuilding and yes they can help you build an amazing physique but there are consequences. And remember, guys, I'm not a qualified medical practitioner. This is purely for educational purposes. But yeah, guys, it comes down to a personal choice. If you are really serious about the gym and you want to get your pro card, you want to go to the Olympia. Yes, that is something that you should be doing under supervision 
from a professional or someone who has more experience. But if you're just doing it to look good and to feel better, it's always best to do it the long, natural way. Now, guys, it's going to be tempting because these things do bring results to you very, very quickly. But just remember that they have their own set of negative consequences on your body. So before attempting to take shortcuts, rather embrace the journey that is your fitness journey. Rather embrace the struggle. Rather embrace going to the gym four or five days a week and grinding it out. There's no better feeling that than that sense of accomplishment when you finish a good session. The fifth and final fitness mistake that you are making is not getting enough rest. Now, it's very important for you to realize this. When you are in the gym, you are breaking down, not building up, you're breaking down your muscle fibers. In order for those muscle fibers to grow, they need two things. They need nutrition, they need rest. So if you do not get adequate rest between your weight training sessions or your fitness sessions, you are not going to make any progress. Remember, there can't be all day and no night. Yin and yang, the one cannot exist without the other. So if you train very intensely, it is essential that you also prioritize your rest. And that's why I would recommend not training seven days a week I would recommend training anywhere between four and six days a week depending on your lifestyle depending on your energy levels obviously I found that the sweet spot is around four to five training days per week and the rest of the days can either be active recovery like light like cardio or you can completely take a rest and do some stretching it's always very important to listen to your body when it comes to this if you feel like you can push through push through but if you feel like you lack energy you're lethargic you feel sore all over it's best to take a rest day so make sure you prioritize them i hope that these five fitness mistakes that i talked about in today's video really helped you realize what you're doing wrong in your personal fitness journey feel free to share your progress down below in the comment section feel free to share what type of training do you do and why do you enjoy it and i'll see you in the next video